Hey, Sean Jantz here. I'm going to do a quick battle plan for Thursday, May 7th, and I'm going to do it on the Slash TF, which is the Rusty 2000, and the uh, Slash ES, which is the US 500. And I'm going to start on the Slash TF, and I always like starting on a daily time frame, D for daily, which is usually the largest time frame I go. Uh, the, the daily time frame can give me some decent clues for some intraday opportunities. So I'm starting on this TF. And when I see this TF, I see support coming, right? I see support. Uh, this is massively overbought. Um, there was a tad bit of support today. You can see 1217 ones that support Keltner right there. So I see supports coming. And uh, I, I'm definitely not against being a buyer tomorrow on the TF since even the dailies give So when dailies giving you support, you know it's really coming. You'll also see support coming. Well, it's not coming, it's there. The support is there on the four hour time frame. And so we move to this four hour time frame here. You can see the support is there, right? It's there. It's given the decent buy triggers. Support Keltner right at that 12.12.2. 12 um, and so I'm not against trying to be a buyer tomorrow. We go to our plot chart and I'll show you where. But I'm, I'm not against being a seller either. Because I, I mean, I, I uh, this looks like some weak support. And then there's, you know, resistance right there. Um, moving average Keltner is right there, resistance. And then maybe some reason. I don't know if it's going to make it up there. It might. We'll see. But uh, we move to the plot chart on the TF. And so here's something I look at. When I, when I look at this TF, this is the stuff that I look for. Pretty much of an inside day. Inside day price really didn't go anywhere up, down. Didn't really go anywhere. What stuff I look for is um, bears kind of took control. They did take it to a new low. Okay, and then the bulls massively took control right off of VA, VA uh, low going into the close. And they just they got it all the way back to the last high. They didn't fail to get it there. They got it all the way back. And actually, if you if you include that high, they got it higher just by a couple points, which gives me clues that they are, at going into the close on Wednesday, bears are here to stay. Okay, so I look for going into the close. Do the bay, do the bulls take it higher where the last sell trigger happened? And they did, you know, just barely. I mean, you know, if you include this right here, but going into the full close, they, they, they didn't really make it. If you include currently where we are, they're making it now. And so they're, they're, you can see the bulls are here. Right, they're, I mean, they're here at a party, but I, I'm not saying the bears are going away anytime soon. And so, currently we're starting above value. And so, for me, one of my favorite opportunities really is just going to be a simple buy value area high right there. I mean, if price just comes right down there and buy value area high, um, you got. If, if I can get anything down here, so price stays up above, and I can get some, some, some binaries, maybe some dailies here. Um, depends on what they're going to be worth, but that's going to be my favorite play. Um, obviously, if it gets inside, there's an 80% chance it goes down to that minus 5 deviation. So that could happen. I don't know if it, it is because of that 4-hour chart. But um, if it does, I, I, I would like to buy that if it does. And, and um, so sell triggers, if it comes all the way up, I'm not against selling that right there. That's going to be one of my favorite selling opportunities. That's also pr pretty close to value area low uh, for Tuesday. So a lot of money was, not very much money was moved. You can see not very, so out of 2,000 stocks, really 188 were moving. You know, moving as meaning like 188 were more positive than, than the none. And so stocks really didn't go anywhere. Kind of an inside day. And so after two two down moves, so a big down move inside day, a lot of times you get a pop. That's just that's just my experience. And so that's kind of why you can see the four hour chart. It's really gonna depend. I'm gonna have to wake up and see where we are when I wake up. Buying that VA high though definitely is going to be my favorite if I can get it. Or it could 80% to the downside. If it 80% though, it's got to get through those. The four hour chart's not ready to 80%, so I don't know if it will, to be honest. And But if it does, I may miss it. That may, may suck. But I'm if it does, then I'm looking for buying opportunities there. That's also minus five and the plus and the value area low. Let's quickly move to the ES real quick. I'm going to start on the daily time frame. And uh, daily cycling down nicely as far as 
you know it's a little bit different than the T and the TF daily starting this is all-time highs kind of come off the all-time highs we're currently in this little bear channel and uh, we're pretty much at the low of the bear channel too and so potential for some support coming this right here is still like just going down right but we're stuck right in the middle so you can be a buyer or a seller on the daily time frame four hour chart you can see support coming on the four hour chart okay what I mean by that right see that oh, massively overbought if we're not inside that Keltner channel if we get back inside that's going to be a positive but you can see down 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 and then you can see a little bit of a reversals candle nothing ever keeps going down right I think I nailed that I nailed that right cycle up cycle cycle down and then likely I don't know if it's going to cycle all the way up but there's some support coming obviously right nothing ever keeps going down move to our plot chart we're starting right in the middle of VA this looks amazing there's six ways to profit from this right for let's look at the first four ways buy value area low which is also minus five deviation sell value area high ish which is also the plus five April 30th deviation the other two ways price comes down sell that right there price comes up buy that right there that's how you can profit four ways to profit from the box tomorrow um, I think something like so when I see that when I look at this when I look at this I see 2061 and a quarter is the five day low okay and so that's that's my trigger number meaning I don't want to see prices go below that if I want to be a buyer and so if prices come down here I want this buy trigger happening higher than that 2061 and a quarter and more than likely uh, the bulls will take it back up to the upside or at least the bears are going to fail and so that value area low is also minus five and so VA low is going to be a really really nice play we can see the support coming on the four hour um, when I see this a lot of money was moved on Tuesday to the downside a little bit of money was moved to the downside on Wednesday nothing ever you know money's gonna stop moving to the downside after a while people are gonna start seeing value in these stocks right stocks going down stocks going down people are gonna start seeing value and maybe looking to buy um, not against being a seller either because there's some decent sell triggers that one right there is really really strong value area low has now turned in to value area high with April 30th POC plus 5 Friday and so if price comes up here and I'm seeing proper sell triggers. I'm not against dailies up here. Price comes down here. I'm not against buying. So I'm ready for both directions on the ES tomorrow. I'm hoping for a bang out day. So message me if you have any questions on this.